Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about the end of Road to the Final and what is going on these past couple days on FIFA Ultimate Team with the last day of this promotion being Sunday with the players. I mean, technically the promotion reaches into Monday, but we won't get anything on Monday at 6 p.m. UK. So today, Sunday, will be our last day. So I want to talk about a few things, maybe talk about investing in these cards out of packs, how I feel about that, and what I see for the rest of this weekend. But the first thing I want to talk about is this Konate card. We got this Ibrahimo Konate SBC today. It is a nice looking card. I mean, face stats, face value, he looks very good. High, high work rates, not the best, but they're okay. Six foot four, he looks like an absolute tank. 86 strength, he's a little low on the stamina. Agility and balance are average. A decent looking card, right? You're thinking after a couple upgrades, he could be a pretty solid card. But here's my thing with it. And I mean, we got into a lot of this on stream today. I was streaming live on twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. Link is down below in the description if you want to check me out there. Um, but we were talking about this car today. It costs you about 100,000 coins to complete this SBC. And it's just at that point where it's cheap enough where a lot of people are going to do it because they, they know, hey, okay, this guy in a couple months, he's going to get upgraded. He's going to get an inform equivalent because um, Leipzig is um supposed to be moving on to the next round so this konate card should be getting upgraded um from an 82 to an 85 he will go to an 85 and he'll get a very sizable boost on his card but that first boost won't come until december so this is where we kind of got talking about things he will go to an 85 rated card in december but at the moment we did a little bit of a comparison if you compare this card right now at the moment with lucas hernandez who is the exact same nationality in the exact same league. So French from the Bundesliga. Lucas Hernandez, his gold card, I clicked on the, the um, ones to watch, but his gold card is 8,000 coins, 7,000 coins for this gold card. And he has over 2,000 more in-game statistics on this card. Now, obviously, a lot of those in-game stats are coming in the shooting, passing, shooting and passing categories, but passing is an underrated um, stat to have as a center back. He's got a, uh, what does he have? The short passing is actually better on Konate, but he's got the stats in the other areas. He's got crossing, free kick accuracy, and the vision is, is much higher. But the short passing is about the same, which is what you need um, in your center back. Um, but for me, these cards being basically the exact same, and even though Lucas Hernandez has in games of 200 more, um, I'm just looking at this card and I'm saying, why not just pay the 8,000 coins for Lucas Hernandez if you need a French center back from the Bundesliga and use that card? Because by the time we get to December, what is that, like a month away where this card would get upgraded? Is it really going to be worth setting your 100,000 coins aside right now to go and do that SBC and to get that card and to get the upgraded version in December when you might have a Lucas Hernandez in form or another French center back in form that's going to be even better? You know, I just don't know if it's entirely worth it. Now, if you're a card collector, if you're a Leipzig fan, if you're a French fan, or just, you know, somebody who likes to do these SBCs and you're there's no shame and you're not worried about a budget or anything like that, then it's an okay SBC. But for the average Joe, for the coin conscious connoisseur of FIFA Ultimate Team, I would say stay away. Just not worth it in my opinion. But obviously, since it's French, since it was under 100,000 coins, there were people that did that SBC today. Obviously, we watched prices fall right away when the SBC came out. Lang Lay, a French center back, 66,000 coins. Here is the stats before the SBC. Lang Lay before the SBC was about 76,000 coins. Drops down 10,000 coins in the next hour or two after the SBC as people panic sell his card and get it out. And this isn't just a case of we got supply from packs because there was... Uh, one pack SBC today, or it was a UCL pack. I forget what it was, but um, I can actually check back here. But we got, I don't think we got pack supply today. We did, we got, uh, no, we did not get any pack supply today, just this UCL three player pack, three player pack and Konate. So no supply. Um, some of the blue supply could have maybe lowered the gold card prices a little bit, but this guy is down because of simply that Konate card. I mean, I looked at Umtiti as well, another French center back. This guy was 28,000 coins um, when the SBC dropped today. He is now 24,000 coins, so he dropped even a little bit as well. French center backs across the board are down because people are going and doing that SBC. 
Uh, and that is what EA wants. EA wants us to spend our cards on untradeable items and throw away those coins, get a card that is untradeable that we can't again that we can't get coins for back on the market. So they're slowly chipping away and taking coins away from us. And that's what I feel like this SBC was today. That's what I feel like Tiago Silva was. All these player of the months that we're getting, dudes. All these player of the months that we are getting is such a good um, strategic way to take coins off the market from EA because you see an SBC like Toko Kambi or you see an SBC like this Konate card and you think, oh, you know, I can do this for 70,000 coins with the untradables in my club or I can do this SBC for 50k and it's a pretty good super sub. But in reality, you use that card for maybe three, four weeks at the most as a super sub. Something else replaces it. Another card comes out. And yes, that's the point of Ultimate Team, to complete including and upgrading your team. But you have to be smart with it. And especially if you're on a budget, pick and choose the SBCs that you go out and do. That's just kind of like your Ultimate Team management and being smart with your coins, smart with how much you trade knowing what kind of rewards you're getting if you're a top 100 player yeah maybe you can afford to do some of those rewards because you're getting 200,000 coins from rewards every week with ultimate team of the week packs and, or, and stuff like that so that's just some things you have to keep in mind as a foot player but for most of the people that i know i would say that sbc was not worth it today but that was our content for today um, and that makes me want to move on to the next thing because we still have a lot of areas of this market that are very, very interesting. I traded a lot today with a lot of cards, um, a lot of flipping informs. You know, these inform Fabinho's are up because of the Robertson inform. I flipped a lot of these today with shadow chem styles. Boys, I know I talk about uh, chem style trading a lot. Chem style trading with informs is mental, especially on a day like today when there's a combination of people panic selling their weekend league teams and still people playing and trucking hard through the weekend league. Since it is Saturday, some people get done early. They get to their 14 wins and they're done. Other people are still trying cards out. You know, maybe, hey, okay, I've been using Wijnaldum, Wijnaldum in my team. I kind of want more of a defensive player instead of an all around center mid. Let me throw Fabinho in there at center defensive mid and see how he plays. So they swap Wijnaldum to Fabinho. These people are still buying cards on the market. And some of the chemistry style flips I had today with these cards were awesome. I got one of these Fabinhos, this one right here. Bought it for 191,000 coins, sold it an hour later for 214. That was great profit. A lot of these cards were three, 4K profit on most of them. Some of them I had a couple 10K profits. And then these Wendells, I got all at like 20 to 22K. That was nice. Again, more flips. I sniped a Lucas Hernandez today with a Hunter Kemp style, so it still works with the gold cards. And I still have a few more flips that I'm working on as well. So that's my, uh, if we get into a little bit of a trading thing for the moment, if you guys are looking to make coins this week, now we're going to transition to talking about like the state of the market a little bit. If you're looking to make coins this week, I know I just used Fabinho's example, so I'll keep riding him. Inform fluctuations are going to be the move. Get yourself liquid. Uh, because we are entering the official Black Friday time period. I mean, I hate to say it, and a lot of us know that it's getting closer and closer to that time, but this is officially Black Friday prep mode. I mean, people are going to, this week, you're going to hear the word Black Friday so many times already, you're going to think, dude, Thanksgiving is two weeks away. Why are you talking about this? Because people want to hear about it, and it's already happening, On so I have to talk about it. People are already thinking about, oh, Black, Black Friday is coming. People have been thinking about Black Friday for the past week. And especially since Road to the Final, the promotion is ending basically today, that will be um, the, the talk of the town for the next couple of weeks as we near closer and closer to that date on the market of Black Friday. So if you're trading and you want to make coins, I'm going to say you're going to stick to a few simple things under one umbrella. That umbrella is flipping. We're going to be trading slash flipping slash quick flips. No investing, all right? Not even 82s and 83s because those are still expensive because of the Team of the Week SBC and stuff like that. Once this Team of the Week SBC goes away, once these other Road to the Final SBCs go away and, you know, the hype isn't there for even any of these um, Play of the Months, we still have another Play of the Month SBC coming out. Bundesliga POTM should be coming out in the next couple of days. And I think that SBC has been delayed because the winner of that SBC is currently on an international break. So we might see that SBC on like Monday or Tuesday. Just be aware of that. Whenever, uh, I think it's going to be Nabry, whenever Nabry, Lewandowski, or one of those guys who's supposed to win, one of those two, I think, is going to come back from international play and be back at their club. I think that's when we will see the SBC. Because we've played the month 
delayed before because of international duty. So I wanted to kind of point that out. I haven't heard people talking about that, but it kind of dawned on me today. If Nabry's supposed to win this player of the month, he can't accept the award because he is off playing with the German national team uh, this weekend. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit and mention that as well. But again, flipping the cards, especially with chem styles and normal fluctuations is kind of the move at the time to make coins. I mean, we're still looking at these 83s over here on Footbin, right around 2.5 to, 2 to 3,000 coins because that Team of the League SBC is still out. Some of these higher rateds, for, uh, 84s or 4.5K, they're up. 85s are up a little bit. 86s are up a little bit. So we're going to start to want to watch these cards because before Black Friday comes, we're going to want to probably club stock some of these cards because if they come out on Black Friday and they drop a big SBC on the same drop of, you know, whatever they're going to throw into packs and whether they're going to hype it up with the first lightning rounds of the year and so forth. Um, if there's an SBC, it's going to be out. We want to have clubs or cards stocked in our club already before we get to that time. But this moves me to the next thing, selling teams. A lot of you guys probably have sold teams already. I would highly recommend if you have anything of significant value that is not like over a hundred thousand coins, especially especially if it's informs. Um, I want to look at some informs right now and talk about this. Especially if you have some informs. I know that a lot of those cards may have taken a hit this week because of these SBCs that have come out, like the, the Team of the Week Guaranteed Upgrade SBC. I mean, some of the informs have taken hits. They're down, you know, 5 10%. Still, you're going to want to take the money if it's a top-tier inform. Mane, Mertens, De Young from Team of the Week 1, Neuer, possibly Benzema, because last year for Black Friday, we're going to have to start talking about this already, they introduced the best of team of the week that they put back into packs during the promo. So if you remember last year, we had like the Inform, um, I think the Inform Neymar was back in packs. There was an Inform Hazard and maybe an Inform Mbappe. This year, you're going to see, again, the some of the top Informs from the first few team of the weeks get put back into packs. And if you, you want to get ahead, of, you please do get ahead. Sell some of those informs if you have them. KDB, um, Alexander Arnold, possibly Coutinho. This is a very rare card. Um, if he gets back into packs, that'll be interesting to watch. Um, Mbappe, I mentioned him already. Fabinho, most likely. Griezmann, I would say. Ben Yedder. I mean, Ben Yedder again did not win the Player of the Month SBC for La Liga or for League One. So this card is up a lot after that hype. Um, and the sell-off, 259K before that SBC was supposed to come out. The man's up 100K at the moment, 359,000. The ones to watch as well, 410. Please, if this card goes back into packs in a couple weeks, I know it maybe seem like you're, you're selling them way too early, but sell your 359,000 coin Ben Cheddar and buy, buy the cheaper one for 5K and play with that one. You know, you might end up selling it for 2K when Black Friday comes around because you're going to get packed a bunch. You know, it's not that huge of an upgrade. And for two weeks, you can use the not cool looking one instead of paying 300,000 more coins for a dynamic image and some plus ones and plus two stats. So please resort to some of these, like, like run a cheap team, run an untradeable team for the next two weeks, or heaven forbid, take a break from the game. Take a break from this game mode that we've had Reddit documents released over the weekend that we have um, people doing like a net code. They're like researching all this stuff and looking at where the servers are and who they're hosted by and what the issues are and diving into that, all that stuff that happened this weekend. I'm not going to go into it because that's not my cup of tea, but um, maybe just take a little bit of a break. Maybe you grind some objectives, um, squad battles, whatever it may be. Maybe just take a break from the gameplay a little bit. Get yourself refreshed. Maybe play a draft or something if you want to play the game at all. I hear the draft is good. I don't play it very much. Um, but maybe just like take a step back and, and trade for a week um, and, and do some stuff like that instead of actually playing the game. But I do think that it's probably a decent sell time to get out of the market. Again, I want to look at some of these higher gold cards and informs. Um, a lot of this stuff is still... Whoa, give me that. 199. I will take that. Thank you very much, EA Sports. We will take that. And that's why inform chemistry style trading is good. This is going to put me off track. I'm going to list it up for 218. And that will be some nice profit right there. Um, we could definitely get a sale at 218 once that 215 goes away. G freaking G, let's go. Let's go. But if you have a guy like a Griezmann, if you have a Messi, I want to talk about Messi for a second. A lot of you guys want to know, when do I sell my team? I think that time is... Uh, 
It's coming very soon. I don't know why I'm putting a min price. Uh, Messi is still 1.4 mil as he's out of packs. I mean, please. I, I think you sell this card. You know, Mbappe. You're, you're talking Mbappe and Neymar as well. Mbappe is down to basically a million coins. Is he under a mil? He is flirting with that under 1 million coin price range at the moment. He's very close. Neymar is itching closer and closer as well. I do think you're going to see these cards dip under a million. More, so many people have these cards in their teams. It's ridiculous. They're going to want to get their coins for Black Friday because they know that crash is coming. And as we've seen on the market, we've seen a lot of price dips already. Let me look at Mbappe's card. Um, I think you want to stay ahead of the game. I know we're two weeks away and you're like, yo, we still have two weeks. But this has kind of already started. Last week with all the SBCs and all the content and all the hype that we had, a lot of people lost coins last week. Dropping from 1.1 mil where he was kind of going up to all year. He goes from 1.1 all the way down to 1 mil flat. Almost up to like 1040 this weekend at some point. Maybe like 1,050,000 coins. But he's already dropped off, dropped off a significant bit with the Road to the Final promotion coming out with some sick cards. And, um, of course, the Jamie Vardy SBC2, which literally crashed the entire market. One card started crashing the market before Road to the Final came out, which was insane. So EA kind of helped themselves with the Black Friday crash a little bit. Um, so, again, this week, I think you're going to see more stuff crashing, more stuff going down and a start even throughout the week. I mean, we don't see the market trend down throughout the week. If we get like um, really, we probably shouldn't get too much content this week during the week. Maybe a player of the month SBC from the Bundesliga on like Monday or Tuesday, maybe a league SBC, maybe like an MLS MVP SBC if we're lucky. Something pretty minor according to those, according to along those lines, because what else are we going to get? We're going to be outside of a promo. We're going to be chilling. We're going to be having not too much to do except for grind icon swaps and think about Black Friday. And when people have nothing to do but think and no promo going on and like nothing to grind for, we have icon swaps. Yes, but a lot of people have already done those. They're going to go out and they're going to think about, oh, shoot, they're going to be hearing to these people talk about the market. Where's the market going? What's the next promo after Road to the Final? Oh, it's it's Black Friday. People are going to start selling stuff off. So get ahead if you haven't sold your teams yet. I do recommend that you do. It's just the safe way and it's the simple way. Get your coins liquid. Get that number in the top left of your screen. Real, screen get that big. Flex it. Show it off. And um, maybe trade a little bit. Try to grow that number in the two weeks before weekend league comes uh, or before black friday comes and just be ready and be prepared that's the biggest thing that i want to talk about today is be ready and be prepared and um you can help yourself out a lot in these next couple of weeks even with icons i do think the icons are going to dip down a little bit i've been looking at some of these just to trade with um on this little buy off sell off time at the moment right now um, and i haven't found too many but it's uh it's fun to look at these and try them out and play with them in game so Basically, any sort of card, I would say, unless it's a pretty cheaper card under 100K, you might as well just get it out, especially if it's some of those popular informs we talked about, Fabinho. Road to the final cards, I wanted to touch this at the very end. I want to look at these cards at the moment because I have not talked about them just yet. People want to know, should I invest in these cards out of packs? Hmm, out of packs. And my gut feeling says no, because... Yes, these cards are going to get upgraded. Yes, these have a very rare supply, especially this team. If you wanted to test the waters with somebody, I would say Terea would be somebody to test the waters with and maybe Thomas Party. Maybe those two guys and maybe Goretzka. If you wanted to buy somebody maybe to play with until next Thursday and you might see a little bit of an uptick in price, maybe you play with some of those guys because I don't know how many of these guys from the second team Get into a lot of people starting 11. Bale, way too expensive. Marquinhos, uh, no. Alba, probably not when you can buy left back inform Semedo for 400k cheaper. Martial, his gold card is like 10, 20, 30k somewhere in there. And his this card's 600k, no thanks. Uh, Yoris, no thanks. Who's paying 130k for a goalkeeper? Not me. Um, even Gomez, last place in their group right now. Uh, even Depay as well. Depay doesn't even show up in this in this um, page right now, but Depay is like 400k. No thanks. So I don't think a lot of these cards rise out of packs. It's definitely not as hype as the first set of Road to the Finals. If they do rise up a little bit, I mean, take your money, take your coins. I think these are going to come back down again as we get into Black Friday. People are, are going to forget about these a little bit, and they're not going to be as focused on Champions League just because EA is probably going to drop a lot of content on Black Friday 
We're going to see the return of this Team of the Week SBC. We're going to have all sorts of cards placed back in packs, a lot of content uh, and stuff like that. So that is my feeling at the moment. Obviously, this Team League upgrade is out for a couple more days. EA wants to suck as much supply off the market as they can. It's going to be an interesting week on FIFA with, uh, you know, not a lot to look ahead to. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But again, if you have a, a team, I would say even though it might be a little bit lower this weekend because it's Sunday and it's weekend league sell-off time, you might just want to take the coins on it. Take the coins on your Mbappe, take the coins on your Neymar just to be safe. Get it out, get your coins, get liquid, build a cheap team like a 200k squad, 100k squad, and rock with that for the next week or two weeks because we are basically officially... That's, I don't even know if that's proper English. We are about two weeks away. Put it on your calendars. November 29th, the Black Friday promotion. And who knows? EA might start it early this year. They might start like prepping for it and talking about stuff. So I would be very prepared for that. Get your coins, get liquid, and have some fun this next couple weeks. Maybe even take a break from FIFA if you really, really need to. Um, so that's kind of my suggestion there with that. Start trading a little bit as well. Follow the channel. Don't quit FIFA altogether. Just quit the gameplay part. We can stick here. We can trade. Help you make some coins and get ready for the massive Black Friday promotion that is coming. So that's a little Sunday market talk video for you guys. It was all over the place. Just kind of me spewing my thoughts at you from what I saw today, what I thought about that Konate SBC, what we saw in the market, uh, and stuff like that. Also, Sunday night tonight, when you see this video, Sunday night, a lot of people played, uh, played squad battles this week to get their icon swaps. So I think you're going to see maybe a little bit extra market impact tonight from Squad Battle Rewards. I know a lot of people are thinking about buying Road to the Final cards because this is their last big supply on Sunday night. I would say watch those cards, but again, maybe Terea gets packed a little bit, drops to 150k. Maybe you can snag him on a bid or whatever. Uh, but I would say for the rest of this week, I think it seems to me that the market's probably just going to trickle downwards in price uh, just because of what is coming up and that is Black Friday. So again, if you like this video, smack a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.